Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. 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 Robbie wants you to sing my rock. Probably just a minute. Every, everything that's been said and done come right back to my mind this evening. And I thought about a lot of things, and I've got a couple of places I want to read in the Word of God, and and uh, I will show you who you are. I like to show you what you are. Amen. Amen. Sometimes, and I believe. Uh, one time in my life, people called me a holy roller and everything else. Bless Bless Lord. Lord. But I'll just be honest with you, I don't care what you call me. Because I know who I am and I know what I've got and I know what God will do for me. Amen. 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 And I'm going to show you tonight that you're not defeated in the Word of God. Amen. And I heard a lot of prayer requests and heard a lot of people talking about and praising God for the answered prayers. Amen. Amen. But I'm going to get you in this thing and I want you to listen real close tonight what's on my mind. And I want you to go and mark it and I want you to go with me to the 37th chapter of the book of Ezekiel first. Then I'm going over in the book of Ephesians, amen, and I'm going to read some. Some of you just know where I'm going to go with this, but I'm going to preach a little bit tonight. Thought about a lot of things, and I've sat back and I've watched God's people defeated for too long. 
There's enough for God's people right here in this little church tonight to change Ice County if they had a mind to. Amen. Amen. Now listen to me. Praise God, I'm talking about heaven a coming and down if you'll ask God. I believe that with all my heart. Do you believe it? Amen. Now I ask people all the time, do you believe? And they say they do, but you can tell by their lifestyle and by what they say and do that they do not believe the Word of God. Amen. Praise God, the Bible said that their own lips will testify against them. Lord. Sister Shirley began to talk about those that praise God on Sunday and live like hell through the week. It's just a show, amen. They don't believe God. If they did, they'd live for God. They'd trust Him and they'd base their life on Him. I thought about our children in the high schools and in the grade schools, amen. And I'm going to give our kids some today. Hey, man, if you'll listen to the Word of God and what I'm fixing to preach, you'll find out that this bunch can touch you, amen, amen, by the authority of God's Word, amen. amen. Now listen to me. This, this Scripture's been on my mind all evening, brother, since I got home. Amen. And the Bible said, amen, the Word of God, they began to speak to Jesus over there. And the people said, we know that God heareth not sinners, but them that do the will of the Father, amen. amen. That's what amen. the Word of God said. Amen. amen. He began to tell them, said, now, God heareth not sinners. Yeah. Said, we know that God heareth not sinners. But them that do the will of the Father, amen. amen. If you want your prayers answered, you're going to have to live for God. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Come on now. Amen. Praise amen. God. You're going to have to be right with God. Your sin's under the blood. Amen. Right. amen. I'll get this a look or two. Then the fellas started talking in revival meeting over, amen, it, praise God a little help, over, over, pray, you better pray, over at Heaven Valley one night. I used to drink liquor with this fella, used to fight, amen, and I tried my best to run him down one evening and drag him off his horse. That's the last time we ever had any dealings. Amen. He started telling stories in the house of God while I was trying to preach, and he told the people how he prayed for me. Brother Buck, I just stopped him right in midair. I said, I want to ask you a question. How did you pray for me? I said, you don't know who God is. How do you pray to a God that you don't even know? Can I get an amen? Praise God. Honey, they'll profess that they pray for their children and their grandchildren and their people. And praise God, they ain't even saved. You can't pray to God for your people. Amen. If you're not right with God, the only prayer He'll hear is a prayer of repentance. Amen. And praise God you get right with God. He ain't going nowhere. Amen. Come on. And I'll tell you something else. I don't want somebody praying for me that ain't living right. Amen. Because if you ain't careful, you everybody will say, pray for me, pray for me. I, I, I'm real careful about who I ask to pray for me. Because if you ain't careful, this ungodly bunch will pray a demon on you. Come on! If they ain't serving God, they're full of demons, amen. And they like us to turn one loose on you. I learned a lesson on that, brother, and I'll get with this. We may be here all night. I've got been accused of being long winded. You ain't seen nothing yet. I got a lot to say. Yeah. That's the first thing God said. You cannot pray unless you're right with God. Amen. Now the Bible said if we'll pray, faith believing, that's the Word of God. He said faith believing that whatever we ask in His name, it shall be done on us. Can I get an amen? amen. The key to this thing is being right with God. Amen. amen. And then if you believe God and you ask God for something, it'll be done. Amen. Praise God. And if you believe God's going to answer your prayer, you won't pray something foolish. The Bible said if we'd had the faith of a grain of mustard seed, that we could say unto that mountain, be thou moved, and God would plug it up. Amen. Now that's the Word of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You say that? That's just the Word of God. No, that's fact. Can I get an amen? Does anybody believe what I'm preaching? That's a fact. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Sister Patricia's talking about, praise God, she couldn't sing it. Amen. The devil's been a warring with you, ain't he? Amen. I know he has. I can feel it, but I want you to know, little sister, he has no power over you. In the glory of God, Amen. Praise God. 
can't hardly stand it. So that's wholeness. Well, if you don't get a little wholeness, the devil's going to take everything you've got. Amen. 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 I'm fixing to teach this little sister, amen, something. Praise God. I want you to listen to what the Word said. Amen. You don't have to let Him whoop you. Matter of fact, when He tells you you can't sing, you right back and get that much louder. Amen. 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 Praise God. You mess up, you start over. Amen. But praise God, whatever you do, don't quit because He says you can't. Because the Bible said all things are possible to them that believe. And He said, praise God, Myself, I can do nothing but through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. All things can be done. You may be defeated, but I'm not. I've been beat down, cast out, pushed around, but I still, brother, amen, have not been overcome. Woo! Praise God, hallelujah. Because my name's written in the of the Lord, and the blood has been applied in my life, and I've got victory. Amen. The Bible said that I'm an overcomer. Hallelujah. That's what the old man of God saw. Old Ezekiel began to see some things over here in the 37th chapter. I'm going to preach just a little bit. God being my helper. Bless him, Lord. Amen. The Bible said, except you forsake all of them. Huh? Husbands, wives, sisters, brothers. Amen. Your children. Amen. Your mother and your father. Even if, if you don't forsake your own life and take up the cross and follow Him daily, Amen. You'll know why it's be His disciples. That's what the Word of God says. Amen. I've made my mind up. I'm going to stand against anybody that don't believe the Word of God. Say, so, preacher, you shouldn't say that. Let me tell you something. Amen. Life's too short. People's are dying and going to hell because people won't listen to what the Word of God says. Can I get an Amen? Amen. I want you to listen. I'm going to try to read this and then I want you to see what you are. Hey Amen. You can let the devil whoop you if you want to. But if you teach your children to pray, praise God, when it comes to school, you know what could happen? If they had enough faith because their mom and dad believed so real in the man called Jesus and the power of an almighty God, our children could fall down on the floor. Amen. In the hallways of the school system. And God shut the doors. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And I'm telling you right now, the devil would have to leave. Amen. Praise God. If they'd have left the Word of God in that school, the devil couldn't have spread nothing because he had no power over the Word of God. Can I get an amen? Amen. The only way he can, he can defeat you is if you think you're defeated. Amen. Amen. It's a mind game. Amen. You tell somebody long enough that you're a failure and you're no good, they'll start believing. That's right. Amen. Amen. You can tell somebody long enough that they're going to get killed if they go down the road. Praise God, and they'll get to where they stay at home. That's right. Amen. You can tell these young people, praise God, that they're going to get hurt. You take your little girl as good as she loves to ride that little spotted horse. And I'm going to tell you what can happen. And you take one person, a man, that'll so discord. And they tell that little girl that they would seen that horse act a fool. Amen. Praise God and convince her that that little horse might hurt her the next time she gets on. And I'll tell you what will happen. The next time you go to ride, she'll make an excuse not to go. And I'll tell you why. It's because she's afraid. Amen. That devil will work with fear. Amen. amen. But the Bible said that perfect love do it away with fear. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Come on, child. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I tell these preachers all the time. They'll say it can't happen. That was in the Bible. They don't happen like that anymore. I said, you can sow that where you go, but I better not catch you telling one of mine that. Amen. 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 Yeah. Praise God. Sunday school teacher told this brother's little boy that he couldn't pray in school. Sunday school teacher in one of the churches in Ash County 
went to school to teach and told this little boy he wasn't allowed to pray in school. Now, I don't know what happened in that meeting. I didn't ask his brother what happened. Amen. But praise God, they know. For a fact, I tried to get to let me go with you, now didn't I? Amen. Praise God, I'm the fixing to set a Sunday school teacher straight. Can I get an amen? How do you tell my kids that they can't pray? Because I'm telling you, there's never been a law that could stop God's people from praying through. Can I get an amen? I'm going to put you in the army. You better go to the battle, brother. You get ready. You didn't mess up nothing for God. Amen. 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 The devil's a liar. Amen. Amen. Yeah. When all these people can see the power of God when it falls on you, brother, you ain't never messed up nothing for God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Let me tell you something. He's a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> I don't care if they do so, you're holy. <laughs> Praise God, the alive devil, get behind them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So they'll look at me funny. Praise God, let them look. Amen. 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 And then when the devil goes to fight, you know who's going to come? The one, praise God, has got the power. Amen. Yeah! They'll say, Brother Tony, will you pray? And the devil will get off of me. Yeah. Amen. Then you'll help somebody else in the ranks of God's army. Woo! Amen. I've seen something. You better try. See <laughs> you better try. The Bible said in Ezekiel 37, in the first verse, they may not want you to listen. And the Bible said, The hand of the Lord was upon me. And the Bible said, And carried me out in the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Amen. Praise God. I believe it. God showed him the slain. Amen. The ones that died in sin. Praise God. The Bible, Lord God. The Bible said, And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, Thou knowest. Amen. Amen. Praise be unto God. There's a lot of things I don't know. But I do know that God knows. Amen. Amen. And praise God, if He's got me there, He's got me there for a reason. And there'll be somebody that needs me. Amen. Or I wouldn't be there. You see, the man of God was in that valley for a reason. And He's preaching to proclaim the power of the Word of God unto those slain. And the bones are dried up. And something about Glory to God. Something happened here Sunday. Amen. Amen. There's some slang begin to live. Amen. 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 We'll be here all night. The Bible said, Amen. And again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones. Hear the word of the Lord. Amen. And the Bible said, Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Amen. Amen. Praise God when the breath of life comes into a man or a woman. And that's the spirit of an almighty God. They begin to live. They've never been alive till that day. Amen. Dead in the trespasses of sin, tore apart with the troubles of life. Amen. And the devil's got them scattered out from limb to limb. Amen. You ever felt like a devil just tore you apart, took one arm and throw it over here and one over here to where you couldn't reach out and get a hold of nothing. Amen. Praise God. Tore your legs off and throw them to the side. Go where you couldn't walk for God if you wanted to. Amen. You was in distress and dried up if you ever been in that valley. Well, if you're saved by the grace of God tonight, that's where He found you. In that valley. A dry bones. Amen. And the valley was dry. They want no water in that valley. Praise be unto God. Woo! Bible 
Bible speaks about an oasis in the desert. Amen. You know what happened to me that night? That Friday night, praise God, these waters started bubbling up in a desert land. Amen. Praise God, things began to grow around the pool of God. Woo! My God, amen. My life began to flourish. I ain't going to get in on that. i got to preach this. Somebody needs this. And the Bible said, Amen. And I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You know why most of these people praise God? Amen. Don't know who God is? Because He's never done nothing for them. Amen. Amen. Praise God whenever He puts your life together and life comes into your soul. Praise God you'll know that He is God. Amen. Praise God because nobody else can do it. Can I get an amen? Come on church. Surely somebody knows what I'm preaching. Thank you. And the Bible said amen. And so I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied there was a noise. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews of the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. And, I, and said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Amen. Prophesy, son of man. And say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, and O oh, breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. Can I get an amen? amen. Honey, I want you to know something. Amen. Over in the book of Zechariah. Amen. Zechariah saw the horses yeah. and the chariots coming out from between two mountains of brass. Yeah. And he began to ask the Lord. And his angels said, What meant these horses? He said, These are the four spirits of heaven that go out in among the earth to and fro in the earth. The Bible said, For the breath. Amen. For the wind to come from the four winds of the earth. Amen. I believe when God summoned the angels. Amen. Praise God. The wind began in the blow. Hey man, they come together in and to touch the slain of God. Praise God, I want you to know something. I thank God. Hallelujah that He touched me one Friday night and I was no longer dead. But when I left that church house that night, I was alive forevermore. Hallelujah. Praise God. Death will never touch me. Amen. 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 I may leave this body and they'll say Dave Lyle's died, but that's a lie. Amen. When I leave this body, I'm going to leave. <laughs> I don't know what people's afraid of. They can't kill you. Amen. Said, what if a man comes into this church tonight with a machine gun and shoots us all? Thank God. How? <laughs> huh? We're going home. Amen. All we're going to do is send you out of the body. They don't kill you. Yeah. So you're crazy. I read in the Word of God, praise God, that they ain't a weapon even for power that can come against me. Or you. What do you think of that? Well, I don't know, preacher. I'm here to tell you, praise God, amen, that man. Hey, you never heard nothing else about it. Where that man went into the bank to rob the bank. And the sister fell down behind the bank, tell her boot fired, and began to pray. And you know, old time conviction fell on that man. He gave his life to Jesus and turned himself in. You know, I've never heard anything else about it, but you let him kill a bunch, and they'll broadcast it for months. Amen. Hallelujah. I'd like to hear about another to get saved. A child of God. One of these children saw revival in the high school. Amen. Glory to God. I can hear it now. Said so yesterday about one thirty. There's a child that attended playing the chapel Baptist church. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Okay. Fell down on their face and began to pray. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. And a new 
broadcasters and being saying, the bullies got saved. Hey, hey praise God. But they mass praying for the one who's praying. Ain't no more bullying in Ice County schools because the student praying. Then I get a name back. Come on, church. Do you believe it? Praise God. Sounds impossible. You'll never see nothing happen. Amen. You keep thinking that. Amen. Amen. You just keep thinking about it and leave us alone. Amen. Because I'm here to tell you it can happen. Amen. It can happen. Come on. My God, you better look out. And the Bible, I got to read this. And the Bible said, Amen. And the Bible said, So I prophesied as, I, as He commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up on their feet, an exceedingly huh, great army. Are you hearing me? Are you still slain? Or are you a great army? The Bible didn't say just an ordinary army, Nathan. He said a, an exceedingly great army. Now I'm going to preach a little bit. I came out of there and I'm alive. And I'm in an army. I'm in an army that's never lost. Hey Amen. And on the end of this thing, I'm going to be on the winning side. I don't care what the devil says. Amen. Glory. As a telling fellow told me last week, said, Don't you know the book? The devil's going to come up and compass God's children. Said, It's going to be bad. I said, You better read the next verse. The Bible said the devil and his angels would come up on the breath of the earth and camp around the saints. But the Bible said that the fire I came out of hell and consumed them. And I get a name. Glory. Now that's my Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. And he said, Behold, they say, our bones are dried and our hope is lost. <laughs> yeah! We're cut off Amen. For, from, for our parts. Amen. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold our people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into a land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. And when I have opened your graves, all oh my people, and brought you up out of your graves and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live. Woo! And I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I am the Lord. Hey! And have spoken it and have performed it. Saith the Lord. Amen. Glory. Amen. Amen. Sunday school teacher, keep her teaching. Amen. <laughs> I've got you in the army. Turn with me to the book of Ephesians. I don't know where people are in this thing you keep. By well, the way to act, they ain't in. Amen. Amen. Right. Bless him, Lord. Brother Buck, are afraid to even be associated with him and living God. Amen. Hey Amen. I've heard them say you don't go up there. Hey Amen. I've heard them say these young people, you don't go up there. Surely you don't go up there with that crazy bunch. Hey Amen. Try to make them ashamed before they go to church. Hey Amen. I tell them I'm a part of the misfit. Hey Amen. We love Amen. Hey Amen. You don't have to understand us. You don't have to like us. Just get out of the way. Amen. Come on. Because we've got people that's loyal, that's loyal to God's house and loyal to God and trust God and they believe God. Said, how do you know, preacher? Didn't you hear the ones that are 
in God for the ones, amen, they've been praying for. Amen. They say it's fixing to happen. And people ain't going to like it. Amen. But heaven's a fixing to come. And the breath of the Lord is going to breathe upon the slain. And they're going to live. And the devil can't do nothing about it. Praise God. Amen. Praise Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mel, did you kill me? Amen. I don't know what we're going to do, Melissa, when she does, but praise God, she's a coming. Amen. Say, so, preacher, you're crazy. I know it. Amen. Amen. You know how I know it? The other Wednesday night, when this sister began to speak about her baby sister, praise God, heaven do the body. Amen. Amen. You know how I know? Amen. Because it blowed all around me as a prayer request Amen. was being told among God people. Hallelujah. Praise God. God moved right then, sister. You just look for a little evidence. Heavens are coming. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Look out. I'll go back to the first thing I said. You see, I know when I'm right with God that God hears me. Amen. 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 Yeah. I knew Kenny was going to be all right. I told them nurses over there to me this little white woman I heard over my life. <laughs> Amen. They just looked at me crazy, man. I'm going to tell you, I love this sister. <laughs> seen prayers answered them many times. Seen God heal her from her cancer. Seen God deliver her from a many a thing. Amen. Seen God answer her prayers a many a time. Amen. I don't know why she's had to go through what she has. Maybe it's for the nurses over there. Amen. To see the power of God. Huh? Amen. Come on. They couldn't understand it either. Amen. Amen. Come on. Praise God. Sometimes people just need to see the glory of God. And how are they going to see it if you don't go through something? Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Come on. Praise God. Praise God. We couldn't understand why this little baby right here had to go through what she did. But you know why? So people could see the glory of God. Amen. So God could touch her people and her family. Amen. amen. Praise God. Listen to me. It ain't a coincidence. The glory of God should be revealed. Amen. And the Bible said, Brother Jerry, 10th verse, 6th chapter of the book of Ephesians. I want you to listen. I done got you in the army. Praise God, I'm not defeated. Amen. All I need is somebody that ain't defeated to stand with me. Amen. 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 Brother, you cried one morning and you prayed and you asked me to pray and I told what I tell you. Praise Amen. God, it's going to be okay. Amen. What happened? It was all right, buddy. God took care of it just like He said, did it. My God, everything that you pray for, honey, God's brought it to you. Hey, he brought it to pass as He know. They know one of the devil's trying to kill you and tell you you messed up on God. But let me tell you something. The Bible said, Amen, when the Lord opens the door, that no man can close. And He'll close the door that no man can open. You can't hinder God when He wants to work. Don't let the devil lie. Hallelujah to the Lamb. God said a preacher looking for you. Hey, Amen. But believe God because God wants you. <laughs> He's here in the army. You better look out. I thought about this thing. When your brothers and sisters in a battle, what are you going to do? Run and leave them? Bless His Lord. Are you going to stand shoulder to shoulder? Amen. 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 I used to run with a bunch. Some of the meanest boys that ever hit Little Horse Creek. But you know why I liked them so good? Because praise God, you messed with one of them, you had to fight them all. Amen. Yep. And they wasn't no backing down. Absolutely. If you jumped on one, you had to whoop the whole bunch. Is that not the way it ought to be in the house of God? Amen. Amen. 
When you jump on one of us, praise God, you ought to have to whoop us all, praise God. Yeah. I say, preacher, you're crazy. When the devil jumps on one of us, they, he ought to have to whoop everybody in hey, hell. Because, man. praise yeah. God, I'm telling you, if you're part of this church, you're part of our family, and praise God, amen. Yeah. Come on, somebody ought to have enough zeal to fight yeah. this battle. Yeah. Can I get it, amen? I done told you. You come out of the valley. And when the breath of the Lord came in you, you got up on your feet an exceedingly great army. Now that's the Word of God. Amen. You know people think you're crazy. Amen. 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 Me, you done had this conversation. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to tell you something. He may act a little crazy every once in a while. But I'm going to tell you one thing. That praise God I know without a shadow of a doubt that when this man prays that God hears him. Amen. I've been on a scaffolding with him and let him fall down and God move him on a day as hell. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I tell him all the time, he might be a little crazy. But he's my brother. Amen. And I love him. Amen. Amen, brother. And he knows I love him. Say, preacher, you crazy. Amen, leave me alone. I ain't like everybody else. Don't want to be like everybody else. I want to be like one of God's people. I want to be one like, praise God, over there in the Word of God that believes God. Amen. Whenever they try to make you quit praying. Are you going to just give up and quit? Or are you going to be like old Daniel? Praise God, open the window to where the sea. Hey, 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 hey. To where everybody can see it. Hey. And he just went on and prayed. Hey, he knew what was coming. But did he doubt God? Hey, hey man, he knew the lions couldn't eat him. You know why? Because God is with him. Hey, he was anointed of God. Sure. You know why? The Bible don't say what he prayed about. But I believe he's afraid about the lions. Hey, Amen. I believe he's telling God, Lord, I'm going to have to face this. you got to take care of it. And I believe God's told him like he has me in the end time. I got this, son. Woo! Praise God. I got it. Amen. 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 That lion could not have been bunched. Got him thrown into the lion's den. That's right. The Bible said the Lord sent an angel. Shut the mouths of the lion. Hey, well, they couldn't have been even they don't want to do. <laughs> You know why? Because the angel of the Lord was in the midst. That's right. Amen. Amen. Huh? <clears throat> and in the morning, the king even knew God wasn't going to let him die. <laughs> I can't preach on that. I've got to get out of The three Hebrew children had to face the fiery furnace, but praise God, they didn't get burned. Didn't send your clothes, didn't send your hair, no smell, smoke, no nothing. You know why? Because it's a fourth man. Amen. He walks with me. Amen. Thank you, God. Huh? Lord, have mercy. I believe I'll get to win one more before I leave here. Hey Amen. Say, preacher, you crazy. I ain't crazy. I'd have done been gone if it hadn't been another one. Amen. Don't ask God. Now I want you to listen to what God said. The Bible said in the 10th verse, He said, Finally, my brethren, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Amen. Amen. Are you strong in the Lord? Amen. <coughs> Then the fellow asked me, he said, do you truly believe that God would move a mountain if you ask Him? Yeah. I said, absolutely. Amen. He said, have you ever tried? I said, no. Amen. I ain't never needed one move. Amen. Amen. He said, I ain't going to prove to you that God's real just to, call, to pray something for you so you can see it. If you don't believe it, that's your fault. Amen. 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 You see, God don't have to move a mountain for me for me to know that He's God. Amen. Huh? God don't have to do nothing for me Amen. for me to know He's God. Amen. Huh? People think He's got to prove Himself. No, He don't. He's God. 
And besides him, there is no other. Say, prove it, preacher. The Bible said that nature itself would prove to you that there is a God. Amen? Hey, come on. Praise God. Woo! Let's see, Lord. The Bible said to abstain from foolish questions for the... Amen. <laughs> the gender more strife. Yeah. Amen. People ask you a crazy question like this, you know, say, which come first, preacher? The chicken or the egg? I said, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> the chicken did. Yeah, said, right. how do you know? I said, don't you read the book? Amen. God created it. Amen. 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 Praise God. All the fowls of the air. All the fowls. Amen. The fishes and the whales and everything that walked in the creeping things upon the earth. God created them all. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Read the first chapter of the book of John. There's nothing in this world, Sister Carolyn. Praise God, God didn't create it. Amen. Amen. They want to know where the amen the women came from at God at Adams. The sin is married. I said, read the book. Yeah. <laughs> read the book. Yeah, if they're lying, very God, God made them. Can I get an amen? That's good enough yeah. for me. Is it good enough yeah. for you? Yeah. They even ask me where the dinosaurs come from. Say so God can't be real. This thing can't be right. Evolution has to be right. Where the dinosaurs come from? I said, don't you read the Word of God? The Bible said they have giants in that land. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Let me tell you something. If it had to be a big lizard, amen, he's a giant. But God made it, amen. Whatever it was, God still made it. Amen. Say, amen. Man come from monkey, some of them might have. Praise God, I did. Amen. 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 <laughs> and if they evolved from a monkey, amen, why'd they stop? Amen. I've been this thing, I've been in this world for 51 years, almost 52. Been to the zoo several times. And I ain't never caught a monkey changing yet, did you? Can I get an amen? Woo! Come on! Amen. I'll preach on this a little bit while we're here. We may not get to come back again. <laughs> I'll give this to everybody to listen. I hope this goes out on there. Big Bang Theory. Going to sound this you. Do you know how the world was made? This is what a fella told me. He said, My God, preacher, don't you know? Don't you keep up with nothing? I said, sure I do. Well, he said, don't you know how the world was made? I said, sure I do. He said, praise God, I'm back there in space, amen. Praise God, there's a great explosion. And the dust, amen, the particles came together. And it formed this world, amen. Woo! Okay. Well, I said, that makes sense. I said, do you know where this wrist watch come from? Over up our feet. Hey man, do you know where that come from? He said, Timex. I said, absolutely not. I said, several years ago out in space, a grandfather clock exploded. And I said, all the little pieces come together. Hey man, he made that watch. Hey man. Honey, he shut up right there. Honey, I want you to know that God created the hand and the earth. Hey man. He set this world up on his axis. Be strong in the power of His mind. I'm set, bro. I like seeing proof of that. I stopped the scientists. Yeah, he couldn't figure that time next there. <laughs> he figured out what he didn't want to talk to me. <laughs> so you let him shake you if you want to. 
But you better get steadfast on what you believe because praise God, the Bible said in the last days that they'd fool the very elect. Deceive the very elect if it were possible. Amen. Amen. Word. That's the Word of God. Now listen, He said to be strong in the power of His mind. Praise God, Jerry. There's power in knowing it. Amen. Lord have mercy. I, I just want to preach a little. I feel so good because I'm on the winning side of King Holy Stand. Can I get an amen? amen? The Bible said amen. Now listen. Amen. Praise God to put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. Why would you want the armor of God on, preacher? He told you that you would be able. That you would be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. Amen. Why do not you get dressed up in armor? Because you're an army. Right. And you're a great army, the Bible said. Not just a not just a, just a medium army. I'm talking about a great army, is what the Bible said. A powerful army. Are you hearing me? An army that can pray conviction down on the laws. Amen. 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 Brother Rodas Osborne, when he was alive, amen, and pray, and there's a time or two I had to ask him to quit. <laughs> you ask him to pray, and God poured a fire on you, he poured so much on you that he just about bust your lungs, amen. <laughs> that man could pray. And he didn't pray, praise God, unless he made it either. Huh? They talked about him, made fun of him. He's one of my best friends and had the most power of God of anybody I've ever been with in my life. You know why? Because he believed God. Amen. And the Bible said, Amen. Now listen. Shoo. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, Amen, against the rulers of the, of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's the Word of God. And the Bible said, see, we're not fighting against man. We're not fighting against flesh and blood. We're fighting against the evil spirits that man have upon. But the Bible said over the last chapter of the book of Mark, that these signs shall follow them that believe. That they shall lay hands on the sin, and they shall recover. They shall speak with new tongues, brother. And the Bible said, that you and me to cast out devils in His name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Said, I don't believe that. I don't care what you believe. It's the Word of God, ain't it? Amen. 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 You see, according to the Word of God in Jesus' name, <coughs> you cast out the devils. Amen. 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 Well, the Baptists don't like that. <coughs> Why tire it out? That's a powerful stuff. If you turn that out of the book, that's the reason you're defeated. Amen. 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 <coughs> and not only can you do it, but it has been done. Amen. Amen. In the last part of that chapter, the Bible said they went out into the world preaching the gospel. <coughs> And God confirming His Word with signs and wonders. Amen. Amen. Evidence in this thing. Amen. Amen. All why that come to my mind? I'll just give you that. It won't cost you a dime. And the Bible said, Amen. Now listen. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, Amen. Praise be unto God, just stand. Amen. He said, Therefore, having your loins girt about with the truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, and above all, taking it the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Amen. He said with the shield of faith, he didn't say part of them, but he said all the fiery darts of the wicked. Hey, come on, brother. Shoot! 
Amen. 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 That don't leave nothing by chance, does it? Amen. 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 We've got our own Jesus. Now he said it's impossible to please God without faith. Amen. Amen. And faith without works is dead. Sister, when he says you can't sing, sing that much louder. Amen. 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 If you have to cry, cry a little louder. Amen. If you got to shout a little louder. But praise God, whatever you do, don't give in. Amen. Praise Amen. God, God's got a great work for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's a reason to say you can't. But praise God, God said you can. Can I get an amen? amen. God wouldn't have given you the talent if He wasn't going to see you through. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and I feel faith. Amen. If we could get our people just to learn when they start to say, I can't, praise God, and say, I can in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If I'd have listened to the preachers when I first got saved, praise God, and say, Preachers, they told me I couldn't have a horse and be saved. Where would little Summers be if I didn't have a horse? Hey, man. If I didn't have a barn. Amen. If we didn't have a ride on September, Amen. in September, where would she be? Amen. Where would little Brandon May be? Pray God, show the rest of them and give her life to Jesus in my Lord. Can I get an amen? amen. Where would they be tonight? Amen. 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 They told me I couldn't preach on the street of West Jefferson, but I can. Amen. They told me I couldn't preach in Walmart, but I can. Amen. Amen. Yeah, look out, praise God. <laughs> told me I couldn't preach in the builders, Mark, but praise God, I can. Amen. Thank you, Mark. And when it comes, they'll have to let us, they'll just have to leave it alone until they get done. Can I get an amen? Come on! Amen. People need to be saved at all costs. I'm going to try to go on. And the Bible said, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Amen. You know how you're going to fight? With the sword. Amen. I told my wife, kiddingly, that I was going to have to sew me some big leather straps on my Bible. Amen. And if fish bumps didn't listen, I was going to go to swing. And I was going to get somebody's attention. Amen. That's probably where he got the Bible thumpers from. Amen. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, praise God, something's got to wake them up. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? amen? My wife said you're crazy. Now don't go tell people I'm going to go to meeting people with a book. <laughs> Not that I ain't thought of it. But I'm telling you right now, praise God, somebody better wake up and listen to what I'm preaching. Because the devil's fixing to tie your family apart. He's fixing to take everything you've got if you don't listen to me tonight. Are you listening? Amen. The Bible says you're a great army. I don't care if the devil says you're defeated. The Lord says you're a great army. Amen. And he said, I put my spirit in you and you will live, amen. Hey, praise God. And they'll know that I'm God. Yeah. Yeah. Lord. Woo! He said, above all, be strong in the power of his mind. My God. There's a battle of raging mother against good and evil. Look on the radio and on the news, praise God. Everything that you ever see, praise God, is about drugs and sex. That's all it's about. Amen. Perverted and adulterous generation is what the Word of God said it'd be. Amen. Come on! And I'll get to preach on that one of these days, but I'm going to wait till the church is full. Bless him all. Amen. Amen. You better listen to me tonight. Amen. Somebody better believe God. Amen. I've been through a whole lot of stuff, brother. Faced a lot of things, brother Mitchell. 
And there's been a time or two, sister, I thought I was going to have to buy. I remember a time in my life, and a man, Parker Ty, walked into Parker Ty that morning, praise God. It just seems like every, every time he's a big crowd, somebody wants to jump on the preacher. You ever notice that? They want to make an example of the men of God. They want to push them to the very limit till they get them to blow up. Amen. And then they'll say, well, look at that. Amen. I went into Parker Tye one morning, Sister Carlin, you done figured this thing out and what time I've been here in this church. I ain't like everybody else. You can ask me, I'll help you, but don't push me. Because it's like a lock chain, it won't move. But I went into Parker Tye that morning, I'll, I'll close out with this. Somebody's almost defeated here tonight. About ready to give up. Amen. Go on, give up. That's what you want to do. But some of us are going to have to keep fighting. Can I get an amen? amen. Thank you. What about your children? Yeah. And them little ones, amen. Who's going to teach him how to war against the devil and win? Huh? Who's going to teach him how to pray and see heaven come and know the glory of God? This old boy had Brother Joel McClure in the corner and I don't know what he's saying to him. But he's about to cry. The tears have done well up in his eyes and it's coming down his cheek, yeah. And I don't know about you, but you can just pretty much say about anything to me, but don't jump on one of my people. <laughs> you get me riled up pretty quick. So I just tried to get on by without saying anything. And hey man, the first thing I know to yell at me. And you ought to figure you ought to figure this thing out by now. I've got a big man. And I just hollered back. I said, son, don't mess with me. For I ain't always been a preacher. Amen. Everybody in the place, Rob, started looking. Everybody's turning around. And that boy run around the aisle and run right down into my face and got right nose to nose, Jeff. Now that's a no <coughs> That's as big my boy. I like <laughs> And this is what he said. He said, I ain't never knocked a blankety blank preacher down, but he said, you're going to be the first. Bob his fist up. And I thought, Lord, please, don't let him hit me. So I just backed up, Sister Shirley. <laughs> and I told him, I said, now listen, I can't stop you from hitting me. But I said, before you do, let me tell you something. I said, this is the Word of God. But the Word of God said to lay not your hands on, on His anointing, Amen. nor do His prophets no harm. Now I said, I can't stop you. Amen. But I said, i got to warn you. I said, I'll take you in the Word of God and show you where one man, God took him and wiped out a nation. I said, now you go ahead and hit me. Woo! Amen. I will not be responsible of what God lets me do to you. <laughs> that boy backed up and he said, you're the craziest preacher I ever met. I said, God didn't call me to let people like you run over me. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 And it wasn't long. He figured I was so crazy. He'd come see what was going on in the house of God. I got in revival and made look back there and said, I thought, sick him, Lord. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. You can fall down, you can let the devil have his way, you can give in to the devil's ways. Joshua told him, said, Choose you this day in whom you'll serve. But as for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord. Amen. Now it's up to you. I just wonder tonight if it'd be somebody, praise God, just about to ready to give up. Surely God, that ought to put you back to one. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Don't you know that he said that if you could just have a faith of a grain of a mustard seed, a little faith, don't take a lot. I remember when Sister Hayley started singing. She'd come to revival meeting. The church would be full. I prayed for you, honey. And she'd get scared. You could see it in her face. She'd be scared to death. <laughs> And she keep a looking around and she found me a sitting somewhere in the church. 
And she'd keep her eyes on me and she'd just keep her singing. She knows I was praying. Amen? Amen. Now look. She's going to be a leader. Amen. Amen. And if you can't see that, there's something bad wrong. Amen. Sister Judy, we've been through a whole lot, haven't you, sister? Every time we pray, God delivers, don't we? Seems like things get just a little worse and a little worse. And God still delivers. I'm going to hush. No matter what happens, I'm still saved, bro. I don't care what the devil says. There's something like going to get saved. Amen. Amen. I feel it. I know it. I see it. Huh? Now tonight, I'm going to ask you one more time. One of you youngins want to sing? Chris, you got a song on your heart? No. Haley, you got a song on your heart? Come on, honey. <coughs> Listen to me tonight. The devil is not a winner. He has no power over you unless you let him. Amen? It's time to break it. Tonight's the night to stop it. Can you believe? If you believe, can you act on it? You want to get a closer walk with God, you'll never get it sitting on the beach. He said, draw nigh to me and I will draw nigh to you. Amen. That's what the Word of God said. Right. He said, Preacher, huh? His brother Petey said, he messed up. We all you know what? I'd have worried about him if it didn't bother him. That's right. Because without the chest and hand of God, he wouldn't have belonged to God. That's right. Huh? It won't be so easy for the devil to trick him into doing it again. Amen. Can I get an amen? You know why? Because he's a hurting. Amen. The Spirit of God, amen, has touched him. Amen. Come on, sister. Praise God. I'll help a minute. You come on. Say. Somebody needs this. So I don't know if my prayers are getting through, preacher. Are you living for God? There's just something in your life of messing things up. Amen. People stole me a million times, and I, I've got a big mouth, and I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty quick to steal. Don't ask me if you don't want to. That's my philosophy. If you, uh, you ask me, you don't open the door, and I just, I'll just tell you straight up. There's people in this world, they made in Ice County, that shacked up, not married, living in fornication, amen, amen and pretending to pray to God. Amen. Are you listening to me? It ain't a happen. People are still drinking in the car and still acting like they're praying for people. It ain't a happen. They're deceiving themselves. Amen. Amen. Are you about ready to give up? Sister Shirley, I ain't giving up for them. God, I'm going to pray God to touch you. God, they'll never do no better until God opens their eyes and shows them that there's a need. Huh? Come on. Go ahead, Sister and Son. You see, I'm going to give you an opportunity to pray. Please. the Word of God tonight to let you know you're not a failure. That you're a great army. That you rose up out of the valley. Amen. A dry bone. And you're alive tonight. Praise God. Can't hardly walk. Elbows just swelling up, brother. Hurt so bad I couldn't hardly get in out of 
I said, for a little, I just stay at home. She said, I ain't. Hey, I'm going home to God's hand. Thanks, God. Come on, hallelujah. And I thank God. And I'm here tonight, praise God. By holding up the word of God. Woo! Praise God, child of God. You're a great army church. Thank you, Lord. Can't you feel it? 